Welcome to the Science of Clock Change, a video series by Save Standard Time to explain how clock time affects our lives. This series was made possible with generous funding from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine Foundation. Hello, I'm Dr. Karen Johnson, and I'm a professor of neurology and a sleep medicine specialist. Daylight saving time is often attributed to Benjamin Franklin, who in 1784 jokingly proposed the idea of waking the public up early to burn fewer candles in the evenings. More than a century later, others began to seriously propose changing clocks seasonally. One of the most vocal proponents of daylight saving time was William Willett, who advocated from 1907 until his passing in 1915 for the United Kingdom to adopt this policy. However, it wasn't until World War I and World War II that most countries first adopted daylight saving time for the stated purpose of conserving energy and extending the workday. To learn more, watch the History of Daylight Saving Time video. It wasn't until 1974 the effects of permanent daylight saving time on energy consumption were formally studied. A report by the United States Department of Transportation estimated a 1% energy savings between January and April when permanent daylight saving time was trialed. However, it didn't account for other times of the year, nor for concurrent conservation measures. During the oil crisis, President Nixon instituted regulations to lower thermostats by six degrees in schools and 10 degrees in commercial businesses. This may explain at least part of the decreased energy usage. Since 1974, energy usage has changed. Light energy has become more efficient. Air conditioners and electric heating systems have become more common. Daytime energy use of computers, phones, and other electronics has increased. Additionally, people drive more. In fact, the National Association of Convenience Stores testified to Congress in 2022 that they estimate $5 billion in increased sales every year are due to daylight saving time, consistent with an increase in gasoline use. A Belgian study similarly found an increase in fuel consumption due to driving during daylight saving time. They also found that delaying sunsets led to an increase in light reactive pollutants, including ozone. In 2007, Indiana switched from permanent standard time to seasonal daylight savings time. A study of this policy change found a 1% increase in residential electricity use due to increased heating and cooling during daylight saving time. The estimated increased cost to Indiana households was $9 million per year, and the cost of added pollution emissions was 2 to $5 million per year. Studies in Australia and Japan report similar findings. Despite savings from reduced light usage, energy consumption increased overall due to heating and cooling during daylight saving time. Given daylight saving time doesn't change the amount of sunlight, why do heating and cooling costs increase? To answer this question, I invited JP, the president of Save Standard Time, a nonprofit advocating for permanent standard time, to answer this. In summer, later sunsets caused by daylight saving time keep temperatures higher until the later clock hour, so people use more air conditioning in the evenings with daylight saving time. If we were to adopt permanent daylight saving time, in winter more people would begin work or school before sunrise, requiring more heat to warm up colder buildings. Additionally, since daylight saving time makes people on average sleep 1% less, uh, they likely use more energy because they're awake longer. So people can expect higher electricity and gas bills? Yes, that's what we find when we look at studies of extensions of daylight saving time, that it's waking people up earlier in the morning, they're turning on their heat when they actually should be sleeping, and they're going home earlier in the evening, uh, running their air conditioner more, it's a reason why Arizona has always avoided daylight saving time. In this video, we discussed how daylight saving time as a means to save energy by reducing light consumption is outdated. Convenience stores sell more gasoline during daylight saving time. Heating and cooling use increases, leading to higher electricity bills and more pollution. Finally, people who are awake use more energy. To learn more about how to harness the full power of the sun after watching this video series, visit savestandardtime.com. Advocate by texting XST to 50409 to tell your legislators to end clock change now with permanent standard time.